Good evening and welcome back once again. Today we're away to Ponferradina. Should be a difficult match. If you watched the last one, we did win 3-0, but we did up the difficulty to top player, I believe it's called. The future matches should uh, add that extra challenge, which I'm looking forward to. And as you can see, the tiredness is starting to creep in. It's only been three days since the last match. A few tired bodies out there, plus a couple of players on a down, really wanted Alcast to start. You know, he's fully fit, but he's now down on form. So I brought in Bjer in midfield. I have brought in Caulfield in centre-back role. Good news is that we did make a signing in the last video. Not in time for this match, but he will be joining after that. Got one extra body and we do need that in defence. We haven't really got much cover. I really like the look of these smaller stadiums. They look like the proper um, lower division grounds. It's great. But yeah, like I said, we... Um, we drop, well, we up the difficulty, not drop the difficulty. We up the difficulty to, I believe it's top player. So the last match, even though we did win 3-0, I could feel the difference. The passing of the opposition is a lot quicker and sharper. The closing down. Um, You know, you've got a lot less time on the ball, a lot less space. That's all good. That's what I wanted. I want more of a challenge. Here's the XC now. Loses out. See, normally we've had a time to turn there and everything. I'm glad Kosinu's back today. We did have to rest him in the last match. That's a good challenge on Mudrick. Caulfield's not too quick. Lovely. Header by Kosinu there, he makes such a difference in that heart of defence. Just the strength he's got. Chance for a counter here, maybe. Ooh, I didn't think Mudrick was going to get there, but he did. Here's Bajer. Ah, oh, that was poor. Oof, nearly fell at... Fell at uh, I can't get my words out today. The ball nearly fell to Zerxi. Nice tackle. Oh no, it's not apparently. I think it was, but never mind. But yeah, I got the, the youngster McDowell, the right back that we. Is that the keeper of his goal there? Oh man, I wish I'd have realised that quicker. I mean, whether I would have been able to get a shot away, probably not, because you, you actually need to be in uh, in the opposition half for you to have a, an actual shot, otherwise it just clears it. I understand the reasons for that. There's not going to be many times where you're going to want to shoot from your own half in an actual football game. Nice see yeah, wide to McDowell. Ooh, bit of a sloppy pass though. Just try to play it too quick. Got to remember he's a, a youngster with his stats are fairly low. Where's Kosinu off to? He's on a charge here. Oh, he nearly wins it back. Of course, now we could have left a hole in defence. Nice tackle from Mudrick. And he gets it back as well. Nice ball. Here's Xerxy. Oh, good save. Ah, got a bit unlucky there. Nicely played from Xerxy and Mudrick. And did well to get the shot away. It was fairly comfortable from the keeper. It was... You know, fairly close to his body. Costner winning the header again. But there's a gap now. Good tackle. Had to time that perfectly. And again, Zixi and Mudrick linking up well. And again. Oh, and again I got unlucky.
that could have fell anywhere. And again, Cosnew didn't find our player, but he uh, got clearance. Lovely ball to hit H. Now Mudrig. Oh, what a finish. He didn't score in the last match, but he did get an assist. And he's absolutely quieting the crowd down. We deserve that. We've been on top of this game. So Xerxes was offside, so played it at H. Nice touch out to Mudrik and a lovely calm finish. And I've said it before, and I will keep saying it. Mudrik stats may not look the best at the moment. It's speed and acceleration, yes. But in terms of finishing and all of that, they're sort of fairly average, which you would expect for his age. And again, I've said it before, this is not Mudrik as of now. This is based on the the stats at the time. The, uh, what would have been 2020, 2021, wouldn't it? Um, need to concentrate there. So his stats aren't like what he is, what you would say in real life at the moment, or maybe in eFootball or whatever. They'll be a lot lower in this game. And they haven't been edited in the option file that I got. Some players were, some players weren't, like their stats as well. He was one of them that wasn't edited at all. He's, he's, uh, I made him look like how he is. I've tried to do the best I can to make him look a bit more mudrick like Costner, look at that pace on him there. That's what I got him for for his pace and defense, uh, pace and power, and defense. Obviously, oh, lovely ball out wide there to Mudrik. Fabio Vera hasn't been in the game too much. Oh, Mudrik's in here. Oh, just out. Only just. Wow, 101 metres ran from Mudrik, dribbled rather. Kosinu winning a header again. Didn't find the player, but he's winning those aerial battles. And he's just kind of shepherded in the, uh, the players here. Nice block. And that will be half time. There it is. Mudrik with a goal. As usual, we've got the better of the possession. Passes, yeah, got a bit more, fairly even. And we've only had two shots, both on goal, and we scored one of them. Pretty clinical. But I'm sure you can see the difference in the last two matches in terms of yes, we're still getting the possession, but we're not creating anywhere near as many chances as we used to, which I actually like. I feel like we do have to be more clinical, which I knew anyway, but before I sort of always knew maybe we'd get another chance. Um, nice ball to Mudrik. Now Bjer. Vieira. Oh, ho, ho, ho. well wide, but that was fiercely struck. Yes, Kosanu winning the ball again. Now Mudrik. Back again. Now Bajer manages to keep it. Just about. Vieira again. Oh, good save. That was much better than the last effort he had. Low, on target, keeper did well. Fierce bounced just before the keeper as well, he did well.
Got to watch the counter attack here. Nice D1 in the end. It was a bit frantic. Could have a counter attack of our own here. Nicely played to Vieira. Oh, could get it back here. Oh, just deflected. That was Xerxes' path. And that's offside. I think only just though. Yeah, it's quite clear, but just mistimed it slightly. We will make some substitutions. So I'm bringing on Carlson and I'm bringing on Harrington for the wingers. And I'm also going to bring on Castledine for Bajer. And Vieira is going to drop a little bit deeper in his centre midfield role. Yeah, we just need to rest those ways. I'm really gutted. I, I really wanted Arcos to start or at least come on. With the game in the balance, I can't bring someone on a down on, on a red down at least. Now, obviously, it's dangerous making these subs when the game's in the balance. It's still only 1-0, and we're bringing off some really good players. But, you know, it, it's all very good having great players. But if their energy starts to run out, they're not going to be able to, you know, run out with the ball. And our wingers are, are relying a lot on pace. Not purely, but here's Vieira. Oh, straight at the keeper. He's had a few uh, efforts from long range. Nice block there. And Hamilton could be in. Oh, what a finish that was. Wow. That was a... <laughs> I've got to be honest, I did not expect that to go in. That's with his weaker foot, his left. Look at the run from him. Perfect ball from Xerxes. What a pass, but that finish was absolutely drilled in the corner. Lovely weight of ball, perfect run. Beautiful finish. I mean, the subs have worked, you know. Like, say, bringing Mudrik off, who's been just since he's joined, he's been unstoppable, whether it's assists or goals or both. He's uh, contributed in every single match. Oh, there's a bit more space for the uh, the wingers now. Obviously, they're going to have to play a little bit more attacking. Well, a lot more attacking. They're probably going to leave some space at the back. We've got fresh legs in those positions that uh, could potentially cause them a lot of problems. Decent spot. Couldn't quite pull off the pass, but it was a nice idea. Oof, wide. Defence was a bit frantic there. We're going to have a look at that again. But you can see through a body in. How was it? It was Hetch, I think. Yep, yeah, just nowhere near the ball. Nowhere near the play at all. And he probably should have done better. He could have maybe take that on a bit longer now I don't know what rating Costner is going to get but defenders don't normally get good ratings but he has been he's won all the aerial challenges and maybe his stats his rating will be downgraded a bit because a lot of the headers he's won it hasn't happened to fall to one of our players but it was just winning the ball he wasn't trying to pass it necessarily Um. That might go against him a little bit. Ah. But the ratings, like I've said many times, I'm sure the ratings um, often don't make a lot of sense. There's the obvious ones, you know, if you score a hat trick, you're going to get man of the match. Why is their keeper taking it? And what was that? Nice ball there. And there's loads of space for Carlson over here. Absolutely acres of it. 
Oh, Xerxes, how did he not score there? Did that come off the defender? It didn't. Wow, he's just missed it. Such a well-worked attack. Cosinu, absolutely brilliant there. And what a pass that is to Xerxes. Oh, good save. Strong hands there. What was Cosinu doing? Brilliant challenge. Amazing pass. And uh, there wasn't any support. I just had to go for it. Chair is out on his legs, as is Fabio Vieira. Ooh, and then he gets Carson in. Nice tackle. Castle Dean. Good block. Xerxes. Oh, and he's absolutely scuffed that one wide. That's a couple of chances he's missed uh, in the past, what, 15 minutes? Does the hard work. Oh, well wide. Yeah, he kept, he kept the pressure on, he won the ball, and he just uh, absolutely scuffed it, but he's, he's tired as well. And there it is. Hard fought win, but we deserved it. And once again, we got just over that 60% possession mark. Look at the passes, 126 to their 77. They didn't really threaten us that much. They had the odd break on the counter-attack, apart from a 25-yarder that went wide. Didn't really do much. Yeah, and Kosanu got rated the lowest on our team, which to me is just not right. Like I say, he won everything in the air. He played a brilliant pass through towards you, and I, I, he deserved at least a six. But Mudrik getting man of the match, not really surprised with that. He did really well in the first half. Came off around about the 60 minute mark. Subs did really well. Harrington with that brilliant goal. And as you can see, here's the new defender joining us. Really need him. Bit of bad news. Mudrik apparently picked up an injury. I'm not sure when. You know, I didn't see it in the game. I brought him off around about the 60 minute mark. He wasn't absolutely shattered by any means at all. But it looks like he might only be out for potentially a week or so. Fingers crossed he's back soon. But there we go. He's the, he's the new lad. Omar Ajik. Got some decent stats. Some oranges. Getting towards the sort of green area as well. He's going straight into the, the starting back four. That back four is gradually getting better. Got a partnership that we could build there. Kosinu's certainly the stronger and the quicker of the two. And just looking at the table on the right there. We're 15 points ahead of Sporting de Gijon. Pretty close battle for that second spot. And the next match is at home to Huesca. It looks like Mudrik's going to miss that one at least. I'm hoping he'll be back sooner rather than later. But join me for that one. Please leave a like if you did enjoy the video. Drop a comment down below. Think about subscribing if you want to keep up to date with the videos. Really looking forward to getting in towards that sort of tail end of the season. Looks like we're going to win the league and get promoted. What can we do in the cup though? Can we keep this run going? We're playing on the harder difficulty now. We've won the last two matches on that. But I think when we start facing tougher opposition, especially in the cup. Now remember we've got Real Madrid coming up in the cup at some stage. Massive, massive challenges. I'll see you all then. Cheers.